I'm Oakley. I'm Harry, and today we're doing the Get to Know You tag. Let's go. Where are you from? Where am I from? Where so, are you from? I am from somewhere called Bristol. It is in the southwest of England. A lot of fields, a yeah. lot of cows, a lot of farmers. People Cowers. like to take take the mick out of me and that. Because um, in season one, basically, I had, I had a Bristolian accent. It's like burgers and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's all gone now. Nice and posh, well spoken, you could say. I'm from Surrey. Yeah, not much to say about it. I'm from Surrey. Mm. What would you like in school, Oakley? Actually, there's a funny story about me in school. At the end of year 11, obviously everyone does their GCSEs. I got my results. I, I finished my GCSEs. I got my results and stuff like that. I still haven't opened them. So I've still got like the envelope. Because I'm trying to do this like thing where it's like, see how long I can go without opening my GCSE. This isn't me recommending anyone to do it. <laughs> But this is just something that I want to do. I kind of changed a lot in school. Isn't like physical, I was very, very small. But obviously mm -hmm. everyone was, well, were you like quite tall in school? No, I was tiny. I was more, my passion, the teachers liked me more. So let's say the drama teachers and the music teachers. I got on better with them, but I don't think that was a teacher I'd say I didn't get on with. I wasn't the best behaved and I wasn't the worst behaved. I was good, perfectly in the middle. Just an average student, you yeah, could say. Yeah, we both weren't that bad at school. No. Weren't too bad. What is your favourite thing about being on Almost Never? There's so many things, I don't know how I'd pick. <laughs> I'd say my favourite thing about being on Almost Never, obviously, is just being on the telly. Doing what I love doing, acting. For me, like, I've never done acting <clears> before. <throat> like, at first, it was really out of my comfort zone to do acting. I was always music. And it was like it was really cool. It was a different experience. And I feel like I, I've... I enjoy it a lot now. It's like being a different character. The Oakley character is like, it's a lot like me, but then it's not like me. But I feel like I can be like... Him. Yeah, it's a bit like all our, color, all our characters have kind of developed a lot more, mm. I feel like. In between the seasons, I've started watching loads of different series as well. New Girl on Netflix, and I watched Friends on Netflix, and I got like the funny characters like Schmidt. You like, learned from them. Yeah, and I took some of their like attributes and I sort of put them into my own character. What is your proudest accomplishment? Over lockdown, I was the most productive I've ever been. Because as soon as lockdown started, it was like a musician's dream because you could literally just stay in all day, do music. And I learned so much over lockdown. I learned how to like mix, master, produce. Um, like us boys did like a Wonderland Wednesday. So it's like every Wednesday we'd upload a cover on YouTube. And like I just got so much better at like the yeah. technical side of music. So I'd say that's one of my proudest achievements. Yeah, you can definitely tell as well. Mm. If you like listen to stuff we've done, obviously because OK edits all the music. So if you listen to stuff before Thanks, and then bro. now, it's definitely improved a lot. I feel like my <coughs> proudest accomplishment, before I got almost never, I kind of didn't like do a lot. So even just actually getting on TV and doing what I thought I wouldn't get to do, because it's a very hard industry, especially like I was very young. I feel like I have changed a lot since when I got the part. Yeah. And I feel like for myself at 14 to manage to somehow manage to get onto a TV show that's one of the biggest CBBC shows of all time. That's probably my, my biggest achievement. It's a pretty good achievement. Yeah. Next question. What makes you laugh the most? So basically, me and my father, we're very immature. And every time someone like, sort of bends over to pick up something, oh, we sort of go like, oh. <laughs> It's really immature, but it's hilarious. <laughs> it's like my mum You literally do something. it every day. I'll go do my shoes, he goes, <laughs> I'm just like, okay. And, and, or the costume people will come in at the end of the day, and we'll be getting out changed from our costume, and they'll go, Harry, have you farted? <laughs> every time before costume come in, it's so embarrassing. And it's always him. <laughs> it's always him. And you know, because it's like the same smell every time. It's disgusting. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Moving on. What is your favourite game or sport to watch and play? My favourite uh, sport to watch and play is probably football. Obviously, you've got to support uh, Bristol City. Come on, you Reds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite music artist? Billy Idol. Yeah. Who's like my, like, he's always been my favourite. And I've listened to a lot of the Kid Leroy recently. Oh, yeah. Mm. I would say maybe Harry Styles. That might change. Tell you what, you guys should listen to Harry's summer playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Got over 800 songs. Every single song he listens to, straight in the summer playlist. Mm -hmm. Christmas songs. Straight in. Straight in the summer playlist. Yeah, I don't have any, all the songs <laughs> I ever listen to go in the same playlist. <laughs> Who would you want to be stranded with on a desert island? Can I say a cow? <laughs> Why would you hang out with loads of babies? <laughs> what? <laughs> It'd be stupid not to. Man. So, who would you, you want to be stranded with? You, who? And you go, a cow. I was saying, Bethy the cow. Murphy the cow. <laughs> Bethy the cow. Right, that's okay, like, I mean. That's milk. Is there's, no wrong, there's no wrong answers here, so. <laughs> who would I like to be stranded Definitely not Oakley. <laughs> Him and his cow. I'd pick Iron Man. Why? Because he can just pick me up and sh fly. I wouldn't be yeah, stranded got... anymore. Right. And and are you going to say he doesn't have a suit? Because he's very, very smart. He could figure out a way to go. Yeah. But I bet I live longer with my cow. To find out. 
I'll get, I'll get Iron Man, you can get your cow. We'll see you last longer. Aside from necessities, what's one thing you could not go a day without? I would like to go a day without my phone. I hate my phone. Like, I'd rather just be in the moment, you know what I mean? Uh, one thing I could go without, I'd say moisturiser. When I get hot, when I get cold, need moisturiser. You always moisturise in your feet, it's really I need, weird. Yeah, I've got a lot of moisturiser. I've got face yeah. moisturiser. <laughs> you have moisturizer. different moisturiser for different yeah, of course, body of course, parts. of course. That's got so the old weird. body moisturiser, then I got the old feet moisturiser. Keep moisturizer. yourself moisturised, kids. What annoys you? People who eat with their mouth open. When I see people being horrible online. Yeah. Because I, I just feel like it's not really necessary. Or if something doesn't affect you, why say it to someone? Have you ever been recognised in the street? Yes. Uh, when was it? Oh, Saturday mashup. When, and we were, like went inside and it was like the first time like we ever come out of somewhere and I was like, fans there. And I was oh, like, yeah. Oh. I remember that. Well, What's your favourite pizza topping? Every time I get a pizza, it's got to be pepperoni, mushroom, pineapple with stuffed crust. For me, I just like, I keep it plain and simple. Large margarita, large garlic and herb dip, and then the small one. Where do you see yourself in five years? Is How old will I be? 18, 19, 20. I'll be 22. <laughs> How do you be? That's why I haven't opened my GCSE results. Why would that matter to know how Because I, I got to figure out, it took me a while. Oh, right. <laughs> in five years time, I see myself hopefully being with the band, going around touring. Released a few albums, hopefully by then, and just made myself a better person overall. <laughs> That's all hope. I'd say. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> how many pairs of shoes do you own, actually? Uh, I think about three. Four, 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 four. Yeah, well, for me at the house, at the apartment, I have maybe like four or five. I think I have four. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Maybe the force. It's quite yeah. cool. Mm. What would you have? The force of what? The force, where you like, uh, he doesn't watch Star Wars, so. Like, like levitating stuff and. All right. Never to drink. That's such a weird power. Nah. It's so strange. So ne what, you want to go to a, like a restaurant and be like, can, oh, you don't even get like a Coke or anything. You don't need to drink it. You yeah, but enjoy you don't that. need to drink it. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, but you want to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to because you wouldn't need to. The only reason you we, not miss it. we want drink is because we need it. Oh. Who's your best friend on set? Bear in mind, I will be very offended if you don't say me. Um, I couldn't single out one. Oh, I could. Um, no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, we're all best friends. What is your favourite zoo animal? I would have to say a lion. It's always been my favourite since I was younger. King of the jungle. I'd have to say... Oh, it's going to be something weird, isn't a it? A penguin. That's not a zoo. Oh, yeah, actually it is. No, they are in the zoo. There, there's, there's a few in Bristol Zoo. Tell you what, they are sick. They are so cool. Yeah. By the way, like, when you look on, like, like those shows where it shows where, like, penguins and stuff. <laughs> you know, they get all close when it's really cold and they like get each other. You definitely watch David Atom. Yeah, Atom, bro. Or uh, Happy Feet. That's a scary movie. Oh, mate. Movie that's why you, you realize Penguin don't actually just sit there and dance. You realize that, right? No, I do realize that. You sure? I do realize that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You had, to check, you had to go to the zoo just to make sure. Yeah, and, I, sit there I, like... and I played some music to make sure they didn't dance, but okay. they didn't. We were all good. Next question How many pillows do you sleep with? I sleep with four. I have. Two. Four like on your neck. <laughs> You're gonna be sleeping like. <laughs> you have four. I gotta make sure it's on my neck. I'm it off. <laughs> You're sleeping like. Do you know why that is? Because you know the um the thing how they say uh, you swallow two spiders a year. It's just to make sure that like because obviously if you're bad like this, <laughs> the spider's just gonna go ah bitch I'm sleeping like this. They're not they're gonna. Yeah, but I sleep with one pillow. <laughs> oh that's been boring. Yeah, how are you meant to sleep your neck? Like send your neck on the I, side. Obviously you mean, I like... have two two. Do you know what I mean? Because I have my So you don't sleep with four. Like what do you actually sleep with? I sleep with four oh, That was the chair. <laughs> it wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> How did you get into acting? I don't know. Just, just, just did it. Just came to me one day. I was like, do you know what? He just came to you one day and you were like, I must be an actor. I must be an actor. Just get away from me. <laughs> I, I've done stagecoach before and obviously like watching different shows and stuff like that. It did interest me. I was, I've always been mm. very interested in acting. What made me want to do acting, I'd say, is mm. probably just watching movies and just thinking, wow. That's what I want to do. What was your uh, favourite subject in school? Um, PE. Same. Oh, I loved PE. PE? PE. PE. I just liked it because I did dodgeball and that was quite fun. If you're arguing with someone, you're... <laughs> <laughs> so I did. Like the last question. The last question. It is. We've reached the end. We've reached the end. Thank you very much for joining us. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. See, See ya! ya.